Hello everyone and good morning. We are Mission City Engineering and today we are very excited to present to you our senior design project, the Ingram and Mabe Road Mixed Use Development. Here is our team and their respective departments. Our site is located in North San Antonio, Texas, west of I-410 at the intersection of Ingram Road and Mabe Road. We will be rezoning our site to multifamily and high intensity infill development. The site will be replatted down to 8.66 acres. The existing slope averages to about 4 to 5% down towards Leon Creek on the east side. The site is now located in the Edwards Aquifer Recharge Zone and is designated as an area of minimal flood risk. Next slide, please. Here's our replat. The project scope will consist of a multi-use of both commercial and residential. Three separate buildings, each with four floors, will consist of a commercial first floor, and three upper residential floors with a total of 72 units within all three buildings. For the commercial floors, we will have a barber shop, a mill room, a coffee shop, a bookstore, a restaurant, a bodega, and an office space. The parking lot will provide 230 parking spots. Next slide. There are no existing utilities on site. Telecom services will be, will be provided by Spectrum and AT&T. CPS Energy will provide electrical and natural gas utilities. For the fire protection plan, we will have two proposed fire hydrants. Thank you. The stormwater on our site drains from a high point of 812 feet down into our parking lot. Uh, it's absorbed by two different area inlets, which sends the water into a 36 inch uh, concrete pipe. That concrete pipe takes the water over to a detention pond. Um, the water then leaves the detention pond at five foot by two foot culvert, which goes under our Ingram Road access road. Uh, once it exits the culvert, it hits some dissipation technology, which spreads the water out and sends it, sends it right back down to Leon Creek like it did in the existing site. Next slide. Here's the detention pond. Uh, next slide. And here's the associated hydrographs. So our goal was to have the post-construction hydrograph, which is shown in red, to match the pre-construction hydrograph, which is shown in green. And as you can see, it matches almost identically. Next slide. And here's a grading plan for the site. Uh, the overall objective was to maintain a 1-3% to grade in the parking lot, and then that gave us a 12% grade entrance on MAPE and a 4-5% to grade entrance on the Next slide. And here is the grading in Civil 3D. Thank you. So on the left is the design of our parking lot. Uh, using the Unified Development Code, we found that we needed 230 parking spaces. Uh, nine of those are going to be ADA accessible spaces, while three of those will be van accessible. We're going to have two entrances, one on Ingram and one on Mabe, and both are going to have a throat width of 54 feet. On the bottom, you can see the pavement design, which is recommended from the geotechnical report. Next slide. So for our TIA, we used the 10th edition of the ITE Trip Generation Manual to calculate the peak hour trips, in which we received 145 trips during the PM peak hour. This means we will need a level one TIA. And on the bottom of the screen, you can see the turning movement counts we did at the ingram Mabe intersection during the AM and PM peak hours. We concluded that our project would not need any additional roadway or traffic work. And then the rest of our TI can be found on our website. Next slide. This is the traffic control plan for Mabe Road. Next slide. And this is the traffic control plan for Ingram Road. Next slide. So as previously mentioned, our project has three separate but identical buildings. The only difference between these three buildings is the first floor, which will house the retail. But because of this, we chose the building with the most critical loads and designed the reinforced concrete structure with these loads. Some of the members can be seen on the right with their dimensions. Our floor system is a one-way skip joist system, and some of the codes that we use to design this structure are shown on that third bullet. Here is a general architectural plan of our upper floors, floors two, three, and four, which are exclusively for residential units. And here is an architectural plan of our first floors of each building, which exclusively house the retail units. Here is a typical floor system. And here is a typical roof system. Thank you. In accordance to the geotechnical report, the site is made up of uh, fat clay, weather limestone, and limestone. The potential vertical rise is below one inch, so no soil mitigation is required. In uh, the accordance to the boring logs, there was no water present, but there were minor voids. The, the recommended compaction was 98%, and the top layer of the soil will have to be removed. The columns have to be at least at least five feet in depth, in depth and 
the friction, the side friction is produced is 4,000 PSF and the bearing pressure is 40,000 PSF. The, uh, the columns were designed using the ACI 318-19 with 3,000 PSI concrete, 60,000 PSI steel, and all shafts are going to be at least 36 inches in diameter with varying depths in accordance to where they are located in, in the building. So this is our proposed water uh, design. Um, for our water demand domestic water line, it's a four inch service line for fire protection. It's gonna be an eight inch fire service line and our irrigation is one inch. Next slide, please. One of the ways that we reduce water demand um, in our project was using zero scaping. Uh, we reduced our grass coverage by 73%. Uh, in turn, that saves 290,000 gallons of water per year with an investment of only $55,800. Next slide, please. Some of the species we plan on using are, are shown in pictures below. Thank you. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you very much for your time. Here at Mission City Engineering, we had a blast designing this project this semester, and we look forward to entering the engineering workforce and contributing to our communities. Thank you very much.